hello everyone welcome back to the next video in this video i will show you how to create an android plugin for image classification in gado game engine using media pipe so firstly uh, i'll show you guys the output so here is the output so as soon as i open the app it asks me for an internet permission and actually i am not asking uh, i'm asking it on a button click but this is a bug in godo uh, 4.2.1 uh, like it asks for internet it asks for uh, like image permission uh, image picker permission as soon as any kind of permission like runtime permission as soon as the app is loaded and this issue i have reported and it has been fixed uh, once Gado 4.3 released but at the time of this recording I'm using still Gado 4.2.1 and here also there is another bug as you can see even if I have allowed it says permission denied I don't know why uh, there again this seems like a bug also like the Gado plugin like in Android there is a new way of requesting permission like register for activity reason but it's impossible to use that in Gado because that permission can only be that uh, API can only be used in an activity or a fragment uh, that's why I had to rely on the old way of asking for permission again for that also I have raised an issue I, I haven't received any reply yet but yeah we'll see so here you can see i have granted the permission and if i click on this classify button it opens the image picker i will select one image and it is here you can see i had selected the dog image and i think this appenzeller is a breed of a dog i'm not really sure i haven't heard about it and here you can see i picked the cup image and it was able to classify the cup image so first you will have to open android studio create an uh, android project it can be an empty views project or a jetpack compose project once you create that project you can just have to right click new module library and here you just have to select, name it as my library you can change package name to whatever you feel like and then click on finish i have already created this so won't uh, show it again won't create it again then uh, you will have to select your library new folder assets folder click on finish i have already created it and it should create this assets folder for you now you have you will have to go to the documentation for android you will have to scroll down over here to the model click on this model section over here and here from this now you will have to pick one model which makes sense to you or like whichever suits your application the best so download any of these models uh, depending on what makes what is better for your application once you download it you will have to drag and drop inside the assets folder once you do that inside kotlin plus java create a, f a file called godo android plugin uh, sorry before that you will have in, you will have to go to build.gradle.kts you will have to add this to implementation line now this is a new thing in android studio iguana now this version as well as the reference has been written in libs.versions.toml so here you can see the media pipe uh, version which i'm using is this and you will have to also write this bit of code task vision equal to all this and for godo at time of recording it is 4.2.1 but if you are high using higher version you can check whatever is the latest version on maven central and similarly you can add this bit of line as well for godo once that is done just click on sync now then go to your godo android plugin it extends the godo plugin as well as lifecycle owner now this is a boilerplate code for lifecycle owner because we want to make use of coroutines then here i have used image request code as well as request image uh, gallery image id uh, this is the permission for it so if you are on android studio i don't know on android t or above then we are calling the read media images otherwise read external storage and here we are generating our base option now this name should be same whatever you have defined inside your assets folder here we are generating our options builder for our image classifier and creating our options building our options and here we have created one variable for image classifier and once godo setup is completed we are initializing it here i have uh, registered one signal as well which will help us to send data from uh, native android to the godo side and once this classify method is called we are asking for the uh, image permissions but like you i have told you right there is a bug in godo which automatically asks for permission as soon as the app is launched and once you give the permission this thing is called 
but in our case i don't know why permission denied was called but again if you click on the button then this is executed properly so once we uh, get the permission we are just opening the image picker using this and once we pick an image we get the image uri with the help of image uri we can convert it to a bitmap from the bitmap you convert it to an mp image and then we pass the mp image to the classifier of image classifier and uh, then uh, we just get the classification results classification and then we get the categories and if it is not equal to null i'm just sending the category name as well as display name in all other cases i'm just sending no data and in case of error i'm just saying a toast message as well okay so yeah that's it on godo android plugin next you will have to go to android manifest of this and here you will have to add this to permission and this i have just copied it from godo documentation only change which you will have to make is this should be your package name so in case you forgot you can find your package name over here and this should be your plugin name so this is your plugin name okay do remember this plugin name because we will be using this in lot other places as well next you will have to go to the project drop down and here you will have to of create a folder called export scripts template here you will have to create a file called plugin.cfg again i have copy pasted it from docs but this should be your plugin name change the description and author to whatever you feel like and here i have created a file called export underscore plugin.jd again i have copy pasted it from docs only change you will have to make is this should be your plugin name and here you will have to create uh, one more method called get android dependency and here firstly you will have to add this kotlin coroutines as well as life cycle runtime this we need to add because the kotlin version which the android template of godo uses does not come uh, with this uh, build in that's why even though we didn't add this to kotlin coroutines and life cycle runtime in build or gradle of our plugin we need to add it over here and here i have just added our media pipe vision uh, library this version should be the same which you have defined inside our libs.tomls libs.version.tomls next uh, okay once this is done uh, you will have to go to terminal cd to your android project and then you will have to run this command dot slash gradle w assemble uh, this creates some uh, ar files so you can go to your library build outputs ar and here you should see two ar files being generated i have already cut pasted those files to my godo project now uh, what you will have to do is you will have to create a godo project create go to project install android build template i have already done that then go to project export click add android check this use gradle checkbox uh, check uh, all of this if you don't know which architecture your android device is running on then create a folder called add-ons inside that create a folder with your plugin name inside that create a folder called bin and inside bin create two folders debug and release now you will have to copy this debug ar file to the debug folder release ar file to the release folder but you will have to change the name a bit which i will show you so for debug it should be your plugin name dash debug dot ar similarly for release your plugin name dash release dot ar next uh, you also need to copy this export plugin dot jd and plugin dot cfg inside your my plugin folder uh, once you do that go to project project settings plugins and you will have to check this checkbox next inside uh, this you will have to take a vbox container and i have taken one button and a label and i have attached one script to it and inside the script this should be your plugin name inside on ready we are initializing our plugin as well as setting our signal and once the signal is called uh, we are just updating the text of our label and once the button is pressed we are just calling the classify method of our android plugin so yeah that's it uh, thank you for watching bye